All right, guys. In today's video, we'll be talking about rules of differentiation. These rules of differentiation are necessary to effectively differentiate various functions. These are the rules of differentiation. We have one, the constant rule. We have two, sum and difference rule. We have three, product rule. We have four, quotient rule and chain rule. Now we'll be looking at these various rules to see how we can apply these rules and effectively differentiate various functions. For the first rule, the constant rule. If you have a function y equal to a u where a is a constant and u is a function of x. So if you have this function y equal to a u where a is a constant value and then u is a function of x contains values of x to so differentiate this by constant rule dy dx will be equal to keep the constant by the side and then differentiate the function of x u differentiate u with respect to x so it contains values of x you differentiate u with respect to x but well, you have to keep a by the side a constant value by the side and differentiate u with respect to x and this will give you your dy dx now let's look at some practical examples on constant rule differentiate the following i y equal to 6x squared i i y equal to 2 exponential x i i i y equal to 3 cos x i v y equal to 5 lin x let's look at how to differentiate this function and apply the constant rule if you have y equal to 6x squared by constant rule, dy dx says we should keep the constant by the side and then differentiate the function of x, x squared, differentiate x squared. So by algebraic differentiation, which we've considered already, to differentiate x squared, we'll have 2x. And this will give us 6 times 2 is 12x. If you have a problem to differentiate algebraic function, quickly go back to my video, my last video, on algebraic function, and see how to differentiate algebraic functions. For the next example, we have i i y equal to 2 exponential x. By constant rule, dy dx says we should keep the constant 2. This is a constant value, is 2. This is a function of x. Keep the constant value, then differentiate the function of x, exponential x. By exponential derivative, which we've considered before, in our last video too, you'll see that the function of exponential x is still exponential x. And this gives you 2 exponential x. For the third example, we have y equal to 3 cos x dy dx 3 is a constant value we keep constant by the side differentiates the function of x which is cos x we differentiate cos x by trigonometric differentiation if you differentiate cos x you will have a negative sine x a negative sine x so this will now multiply the constant will now multiply your derivative this will give you negative 3 sine x and that is your dy dx for the last one we have y equal to 5 lin x dy dx will be keep the constant by the side then differentiate lin x if you differentiate lin x by logarithmic differentiation which we've also considered we will have 1 upon x and this will give us 5 all over x and that is our dy dx the next rule we'll consider is the sum and difference rule if you are given a function y equal to u plus minus 
v where u is a function of x and v is a function of x then dy dx will be you differentiate your u with respect to x because they are all functions of x i will differentiate u with respect to x and then maintain the sign here if it's a plus i will write a plus maintain the sign if it's a minus i will write a minus and then differentiate the next function of x v I will now differentiate v with respect to x that is the sum and difference rule always maintain the sign after differentiating the first term maintain the sign differentiate the next term maintain the sign and so on now let's look at some practical examples on sum and difference rule differentiate the following i y equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 i i y equal to 3x raised to power 4 minus cos x plus exponential x and then i i i y equal to lin x minus sine x plus 2x now let's look at solutions to these questions solution let's take the first one y equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 to differentiate this by the sum and difference rule dy dx will be equal to differentiate x squared that will give us 2x you have to maintain the sign that's what the sum and difference rule is saying that you should maintain the sign keep the sign keep your plus then differentiate 2x or the break differentiation please if you have any question any problem about algebraic differentiation just go back to our last video and learn how to differentiate algebraic function it's a very basic differentiation you can learn so we have differential of 2x we have 2 and we differentiate a constant value you have 0 we differentiate a constant value you have 0 so you have 2x plus 2 and that's just the sum and difference rule let's take the next question y equal to 3x raised to power 4 minus cos x plus exponential x to differentiate this we will have dy dx equal to now to differentiate 3x raised to power 4 we apply the algebraic derivative or algebraic differentiation 3 times 4 we have 12 then x 4 minus 1 we have 3 minus we maintain our sign the difference according to sum and difference we will maintain our sign here here is a difference and then we we'll keep our difference a minus and then we we'll differentiate cos x you differentiate cos x you have a negative sign x and keep it in bracket because it has a negative sign so negative sign x then plus maintain the sign plus and then differentiate exponential x the first of exponential x is still exponential x and so this will give us 12x raised to the power 3 minus times minus is a plus then sine x plus exponential x that is our dy dx the last example we have y equal to lin x minus sine x plus 2x and to find dy dx here dy dx equal to the first term here is lin x if we differentiate lin x we have 1 upon x maintain our sign minus the sum and difference rule maintain our sign differentiate sign x you have cos x maintain this sign plus then differentiate 2x we have 2 and that is our dy dx